Hello guys, welcome to Afom TV. My name is Afomo Hine. It's a very beautiful sunny day here at Redu Farms. And um, I believe you all know Redu Farms. We started this project a few months ago. We built a uh, 10,000 capacity concrete ponds, but we are doing it in phases. We stopped initial 4,000 fingerlings. And today, after a month and two weeks, we are here to do the first sorting. Honestly, we should have done this a couple of weeks back, but I was not well, so I could not come. But today I'm here to do the sorting, and actually I'm looking at the activity level of the fish, and their weight, and their size, and I am very impressed because you can see that, you know, they are doing very well. Initially, we put all the fingerlings in one pond, but as they grew bigger, we kind of, separated them and put some in other ponds. At this side, we have four ponds. And at the other side, we have the rest of the pond that is still under construction. So after a while, we have to sort them properly. When we divided them at first into the other ponds, we didn't sort them. We we're just taking a number and putting it into other ponds so that one pond does not become overcrowded. But today, we are going to sort them properly into their respective sizes. So you, have, you can see that we have one empty pond here that we are now filling up. Before you sort fingerlings, make sure that the pond that you are going to sort them in is already filled with water. So we are filling this pond with water and then we are going to sort our catfish. Starting from this pond, this one is going to carry the biggest size and then the rest will come here and then the others will follow. So in sorting fingerlings like this, you need carriers. And we have our big bowls. These are the bowls we are going to use. You see? Uh -huh. So we have um, bought three of these. And these are the plastic sieves that we are going to use to fetch them from the pond. But before you be able to use this to catch the fingerlings, you must drain the water to a lower level. Normally I say drain it to the feet level. So the water must be down so that the fish will not be able to swim across very swiftly so that you can easily catch them with the plastic sea. And so today, that is what we are here to do. If today is your first time here on this channel, this is the most educative and informative address channel that you can find on YouTube. Please, click on the subscribe button, share this video, comment and like. So there are several reasons why you need to do sorting in your fish pond. One of the main reasons why we do sorting is to avoid cannibalism in the pond because definitely some of the fish will grow faster than others. So if you don't sort out the bigger ones and the smaller ones into their respective sizes, it means that the bigger ones are going to prey on the smaller ones by, you know, trying to kill them for food so that is one of the main reasons why you need to sort um, your fingerlings into smaller sizes and bigger sizes again you need to sort your um, catfish so that you can feed them the right feed because as i said earlier because some are going to grow bigger than others you need to sort them into their respective sizes so that you feed them the right size of feed if not you are going to feed them the same size of feed both small and big which means one particular size is not going to get the correct size of feed that they need to grow again one of the reasons why we do sorting is to be able to reduce the number of fish that you have in each tank and also to help provide more dissolved oxygen per water for the fishes so you see there are a lot of benefits why you should do sorting in your pond or in your catfish farms 
so as you can see here we fetch or we catch all the fishes in the pond and put them into one big bowl then the bowl should already contain water then we start to sort them into their respective sizes so here as you can see we are sorting them into big medium and small so all the big sizes that will go into one pond are grouped together then the smaller sizes will go into one and then the medium size will go into one it shouldn't be a difficult process at all once you know what you are doing and you have a firm understanding of how to group the sizes that you want um, your fish to be so you can also choose to do them into two groups or whatever groups that you want but normally um big medium small i mean that's acceptable and you should also know that sorting is a continuous process so it is not something that you do once and then that's it because over time as you feed the fish definitely are going to realize that even just after sorting a particular size is not supposed to be where it is or a particular size should be at a different place right away you use a net to catch it and put it into the right pond that it should be in so um, that's what sorting is really about for all those of you who wanted to see how we do sorting at our fish farms this is redu farms in the eastern region and then we don't just build the ponds and stock the fish we move on further to make sure that we help with the other processes or uh, maintenance methods that you need to know to make your fish farm project a very big success we also train the staff or the farm hands on how to do all this so you can see in this video the farm manager of redu farms himself is involved in the whole process and is, is learning how to do every bit of activity so that we don't always have to go there and do it for him so after everything you sieve them and put them into their respective ponds that you want them to be in as you can see um we are putting these ones in their respective ponds the big ones uh, into a clean refreshed water for them and that's how we do it for all the other sizes put them in clean water after sorting i should also say that right after sorting you don't feed your catfish you have to wait for about 8 to 12 hours before you feed them so guys i believe this video has been very informative and educative just as we do it here on the foam tv every time if today is your first time here please hit on the subscribe button and share this video um, like this video comment and let us know what you think about this video and we'll be sure to respond to your comments thank you for holding this channel down and watching our videos see you again next time bye bye